a little bit bigger than that. You speak, we came from all over the Bay Area to be here with y'all today. Make some noise! <laughs> One of the most important relationships we have are our relationships with the young people in the schools and with teachers through the residency program, which a trained poet mentor comes into the school, collaborates with the teacher to develop spoken word curriculum and creative writing prompts um, to get young people writing and responding to the text that they're reading. What it is is that students are allowed to be engaged in the learning process. They are a part of the learning process by bringing their own personal narratives into the text that they're reading. In addition to reading the book and breaking down the narrative and the themes, they add their own narrative so that they can compare and contrast how their life correlates to the text that they're reading. You Speaks has helped me a lot with writing just in general, like not even poetry, but like even in essay writing and things like that. I've learned how to use a more vivid vocabulary when I'm writing my essays. You Speaks is a way for you to come and get involved, to share your voice, to tell your story. It's more student-centered and the truth they bring to it, the lens they see subjects from their experiences, not just told, listening to a lecture, regurgitating what they think the teacher wants to hear. They're really bringing themselves through. Because some people don't know what we're about. They only see us as failures, but this failure is success turned inside out. Every residency kicks off with a school visit assembly, which is a group of three to five Bay Area artists, a part of our poet mentor program, who come and perform and kind of model the work that we do, model the art that is created in You Speaks and in the You Speaks community. So a poet mentor is assigned to a different classroom with a teacher, and they meet beforehand uh, before the program actually kicks off. They're just going to read about six different short stories and um, the focus or the theme is really about searching for identity and especially in a foreign country. It's called the Cultural Artifact Workshop where we kind of, the students kind of find one tangible artifact like from their cultural background that they can use as like a kind of like a symbol throughout their poems that they can go back to even as a refrain. I listen to what the themes are and make something unique specifically for the teachers and the students. Uh, we also have a SLAM Union Club which is started by a poet mentor and a young youth leader at every site and right now we have 21 different programs, 21 different slam clubs in high schools and middle schools throughout the Bay Area. They write differently because it's so free. It's so free that they can really create what they what comes to mind and they're not told what's right and what's wrong. They're just given ideas and the space to be creative with it. It's not that we're teaching kids to write poetry, not that we're um, teaching poetry structures and forms. Um, but more that we are creating a space for open dialogue, creating space for freedom of expression. Once a week on Tuesdays, Jose comes in and sometimes he'll start with a, a clip, a uh, poet speaking or a video of a poet presenting or doing their thing. And it's, um, usually the, that theme within their poem is something that he tries to help the students develop too. How many people have seen a miracle? In their own opinion, have seen a miracle. So they always start with like a palette on the board, like a word or a phrase, an idea, and the students just shout out anything that comes to mind. Gandhi. Maple Gandhi. Gandhi. <laughs> Not the next. Next. Not the next. Nature. Video games, fire, Gandhi, Jordan, cantaloupes, Not X. Poetry. I just want you guys quickly. Chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Feel free to add that to your paper as well. I want you to choose three. Three of these, any words you like, and just write them on your first line of your paper. Wait, does that say Crayola? That does say Crayola. Yeah. He gives a question or a sentence starter, uh, something to begin. I want you to guys think about, if you could grant a person a miracle, uh, what would it be? They go over what is everyone, what everyone has shared, and then they start the writing process with tons and tons of ideas in front of them. I've seen people, you know, talk that never spoken before in class, like, actually telling us, you know, their truth and their story and things like that without, you know, being shy about it. And I feel like You Speaks really just help people find their voice. And that's when I met Nick. He, shows, he showed me how to live positively and not be negative. He released the memoirs, of, or he let the memoirs of my brain to unfold. Thanks to you, I want to put my grades up and try to apply it to your peace. I was alone, dead, and slowly falling into the pressures of my peers. 
When I met you, my brain was poisoned by reality's venom. But you sucked the venom out so that I could easily analyze the positive words that you would give me. I love that he's constantly reminding them that what they bring is real and it's true. And so that they just, all they need to do is be themselves. And I think that's so important for them to hear and for them to develop their writing and what they think about the world, how they see it and doing it creatively is, is really, I think, a special thing for them to get to experience at school during the school day. This takes amazing courage. The slide here is the number one fear is public speaking, so that took a lot of courage. So let's give it up, and, let's give it up again, please. Literacy is far beyond spelling correctly, but it's also about being to express your own process. What we try to teach and what we do promote is that you can get your problems out through writing so that you're able to focus on your academics. You can't focus on academics with all this other stuff constantly going through your head. So we got our own story to tell. We gotta pick it up, right? We're storytelling, you know what I mean? We're telling, we're telling our stories through the word. And that's where the residency comes in, is to say that you matter, your text, your life as text is relevant. It's about reactivating our students who the education system has often marginalized or silenced and placing their voice at the center of education.